how to set up date-based reminders in Smartsheet. Now, if you're managing projects for clients, there's going to be things that you want to be reminded to do every month. And especially as you accumulate more and more clients, it's going to be harder and harder to keep track unless you have a good system in place and a good product that makes it easy to do this. One of the reasons I love Smartsheet is that it's very easy to customize. I can have as many date-based columns as I want, start date, end date, completed date, and anything else in between that I might need dates for, I can format a column for a date, and then I can set up reminders based on them, which means I can also set out reminders to a generic whomever it's assigned to. So I'm going to show you what this looks like in Smartsheet so you can see exactly how this works and what this looks like. Let's take a look at my screen and see how it works. If I go over here to my task here that says check HubSpot tasks, you can see I've got it. It's a start date of January 15th and a due date of May 15th. The idea here is this might be a task that I repeat every month, but I don't need to create a separate one for each month. Each month as I complete it one month, I just update the due date. And especially because I'm going to use this reminder workflow, in many cases this actually works really well. So what we're going to do is click down here where it says alerts. And I'm going to go to reminders. The reminders are the date-based alerts. Notifications are more on activity-based things. I'll click new reminder. And by default, it assumes I want to remind myself, but I don't. I want to remind whomever it's assigned to. That warning just lets me know that I need to make sure that whomever is it's assigned to actually has accepted the invite and come into the project. Otherwise, they're not going to get the email. And I might want the first reminder to go out a week before, not the start date, but the due date. And then I'll put in a customized message saying, you have an item due. I'm not going to write a message saying that it has to do with checking the HubSpot stats specifically, because this reminder is going to work for any task that I put in here now with a due date whenever I'm at the point where it's seven days before that due date. Now I'm going to get an email. The idea, of course, is to, a lot, to, to some extent for a lot of these things is to get us out of the inbox. But this is an email I don't mind getting. They're what I call throwaway emails. I'll get the reminder. I use G Suite, which, and then I use the priority inbox, which means I can star these things in the morning when I get them to make sure that I don't leave my desk before either completing the item or deciding it's not going to be done today because let's say it doesn't need to. And based on that, I'm going to update the due date. Then I can delete the email knowing I'm going to get another reminder later on. Because in addition to the seven day reminder, I'm usually going to set a one or two day reminder before the due date, as well as one that goes on the due date to make sure that I'm not actually missing anything. Of course, the beauty of this is that you have the flexibility to set it up and create anything you want any way that you want. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to me. You know how to find me or give us a call at 866-945-8070 and I'll be happy to get with you, work with you, and help you get something like this set up for your business.